today we will discuss about nervous system nervous system in our senses taste and smell the occipital lobe helps in processing visual information from the eyes the second part of the brain is known as the cerebellum it is located below the cerebrum and above the medulla oblongata in case of the cerebellum it coordinates the muscles muscular movement and it also helps in maintenance of our body's balance and posture Diencephalon is the third part and is made up of two parts namely the thalamus and hypothalamus. The thalamus acts as the relay center and directs the sensory impulses to the cerebrum whereas the hypothalamus controls metabolic processes like temperature, appetite, water balance, sleep, blood vessel constriction and dilation. Hypothalamus also releases hormones that control our emotions like anger, fear, pleasure, pain and affections. Coming to the fourth part of our brain, it is midbrain. Midbrain is located below the cerebrum and is responsible for the eye and auditory reflexes. Pons, located below the midbrain, is responsible for reflex actions and protects us from the danger. The final part of the brain is medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata continues out of the brain as spinal cord. Brain stem is formed by midbrain and pons and medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata regulates heartbeat, breathing and other involuntary movements like swallowing, blood pressure, coughing, sneezing, etc. Medulla oblongata is also known as the center of respiration. The amount of cerebral cortex that can fit in the skull is increased by the ridges and grooves. These are known as the gyrus and the sulcus. Gyri are the ridges whereas sul sulci are the grooves. A deeper look reveals what's exactly inside our human brain. When we take a section thinner than a human hair and we stain it with nasal stain, it reveals the internal structure of the brain. This section is really thinner than a human hair. A faster nerve impulse transfer.
CNS CNS is made up of the brain and the spinal cord together it is also known as the nerve axis here you can see how cns is separated from a preserved body central nervous system also known as nerve axis is made up of the brain and the spinal cord you already know what brain is in turn made up of brain is made up of the cerebrum cerebellum and the brain stem now brain brain stem and the spinal cord everything come under the cns and what is a brain stem made up of yes brain stem is made up of the pons medulla oblongata and midbrain coming to this part we can see the lobes of the brain clearly and this part is the cerebellum and you can clearly see the lobes where they are present and this is the region where the mid midbrain continues as pons and finally forms the medulla oblongata and spinal cord this part is the cerebellum <coughs> and seeing at this part of the brain you can clearly see the differentiation of the lobes The brain is divided especially the cerebrum is divided into right and left cerebral hemispheres and here you can see the gyrus which is the upper part and the lines that you see between the gyrus are the inner foldings which are known as sulci and this part we can observe the temporal lobe this is the fissure that se- the cells i divide the lobes into different parts here you can observe the temporal lobe and the parietal lobe the temporal lobe is separated from the parietal and the frontal regions with the help of a big cell site it happens on either sides of the brain and this cells is this cells i generally separates the frontal lobe from the parietal lobe if we take a longitudinal section of the brain we find it like this and here we can see how a cells i looks from inside of the brain and here you can also see the cerebellum longitudinal sec
of the cona conus medullaris is known as the pia mater it is the continuation of the pia mater which we call it as phylum terminalis and this is the anterior surface of the spinal cord if we see the posterior surface of the spinal cord we can say the cross sectional area here Hi students thank you so much for a tremendous support and i promise to upload videos here after every week and we will discuss about the peripheral nervous system in one more video thank you take care bye bye